Bordeaux. And Bordeaux is probably the most famous wine region in the world. But the region itself is divided into three areas. You have, you see the Medoc on the left, that's considered the left bank of Bordeaux. The other side is the right bank, the Libourne, that area there. And then right in between, you see the, 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 the escarpment and the river coming down. You see that green part called Entre du Mer. And that literally, literally translates to between two seas. Merlot, it's a grape that yields moderately, not a big crop coming from the grape itself. Uh, the skins are thick, but not as thick as Cabernet Sauvignon. Cab as well, it is a very late ripening grape. So it can't, you can't grow it in areas that don't get enough sun. It needs a lot of sun to really ripen the right way. Cab Franc, it is a grape that is great for the, the wine producer because the yield is very, very high. It fits into the blend. It's a, it's a great blending grape. We're okay? Let me, you know, I want to wrap it up quickly and just give you some sound bites. And the five first growths are Latour, Lafitte Rothschild, Mouton Rothschild, Chateau Margaux, and Aubryon. The great wines from the, the, the right bank are Cheval Blanc, saint -Emilion. Ozone, Santa Million, and Petrus and Pomerol. Loved it. Loved it. Yeah, he, I like, you know, I think that he had a really good sense about um, talking about wine and talking about value. This was new for me, but I, I think I'm going to delve into some Bordeaux wines now that I know something about them. In Bordeaux, uh, they have a great terroir there. I mean, the wines grown in Bordeaux taste like no other wine. Uh, I think all wines from Bordeaux generally belong on the dinner table. The values are extraordinary. I mean, if you like white wine and you don't drink Alsatian wines, you're missing a large part of uh, a great wine region.